What's up? It's Shiny with a deaf chick. I am back. I am back at Warp Tour and I'm with Eddie from iIgnite. Great band. Check them out. Let you some work before I ask you questions. iIgniteFacebook1.com. Also, iIgniteMusic.com. So, I found out about iIgnite through my friend Jenna over there somewhere with some old friends. And I gotta say, I was thoroughly impressed last year. I would like to know personally how. Fuckers met each other because that's gotta be one of the uh, This is a long story, I'm gonna make really, really short, okay? So here's how the band actually got three together. Boys, Basically, uh, three, 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 three of the members of this band were in another band, and a uh, guitar player uh, of no, Mike Knight uh, came up to me with extra material that I had and said, What are you doing? Do you want to start this band? Do you want to make something of your extra material? And I said, Yeah, let's do it. And that was Stefan, who's the guy holding the camera. And uh, we made a side project. And then, uh, next thing you know, long story short, the side project turned into a full time gig, and uh, I guess people like the extra songs I had. Apparently, because now you're playing at Warp Tour. Now we're playing Warp Tour. Oh, yeah. Do you guys, obviously, you guys play in Long Island. What venue in Long Island is your preferred favorite? And I know. Well, I can't pick one venue that is the greatest venue in Long Island. That's a preferred favorite. But I can say the venue we frequent the most, and that's called Katie's. Basically, like once every three months. Wow. So we try to, the one thing you don't want to do is over saturate, and especially when you're home. So we try not to play Long Island more than every three months. But you guys do are where exactly? Like, we have actually never done a full tour at the moment. We've just done run offs, like we get run offs and stuff. But our favorite place to play out of state right now is still the room at Connecticut, which is where we filmed the music video for uh, Without You. Body heat. Temperature wise, it's, it's kind of. Look at my face. I'm totally burnt right now. Seriously, I'm out of. Lobster. Lobster fire. I wanted to know, like, it, it's very hard to gel with certain people to begin with because their their personalities can clash. You can have people like, because Gucci all together, he's a very outstanding, like, he's a very outgoing human being. Well, that's one thing about it is that uh, three members in the band, Joe, the bass player, uh, James, the drummer, and myself were in another band called Lost Taken. And when Steph, the guitar player, came up to me and said, "Do you want to start a band based off this material?" He said, "Well, we need another guitar player because I physically cannot sing and play this part." Oh, like multi so I, I can't do both. It's just they're both too. I understand. I can't walk and talk at the same so, time. I know I can't. <laughs> There's no, there's no. So the first person we had in mind was Corey. Okay. Contact Corey, Corey, same like that. What is your favorite song on the new album right now? I know you have a new one out. I know. You well, I love every song in the EP, like they're my babies. But if I had to pick one, I would say the one that hits me closest to home is the last song. Okay. It's just called Lost in the Sound. It's my favorite song on the entire right. EP. Here's the thing, though. Personally, for me, every parent has a favorite. So don't fuck with me and say that there isn't. Speak louder. <laughs> I'd speak louder. <laughs> it's called chatting with the deaf chick. Hello. <laughs> I have one word for you, asshole. I love All right, it. one last question. One last question. If if this all ended tomorrow, and God God willing, it does. What honestly would be your your takeaway from this whole thing? There's Joe. Joe! Joe! There's James. 